Okay, Johnny, stop making me laugh. I'm just talking. Okay. Hey, Bye TV, may we go day. Hey, 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 Bye TV, may we go day. Oh, 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 Bye TV, may we go day. Yeah, you know it's the Bye TV, may we go day, 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 day. Pirates, it's Wednesday, February 21st. I'm Jessica. And I'm Gage Dillon, and this is the Pirate TV Midweek Update. It sure was nice to have a four-day weekend, but it's back to business. Pirate Varsity Basketball took care of business last night. It was a 58-51 to win over Aubrey. Here's Coach Short. I wanted to let everyone know that we had a great win last night in the playoffs in the first round. Uh, our boys are by district champions. We beat Aubrey 58-51. to uh, It was a great game. Uh, Aubrey's a very good team, but our guys just played a little bit better and played a little bit harder. I'm very proud of them. Uh, had an outstanding performance, and uh, we are really excited about uh, qualifying for the second round. I don't currently have any playoff details for the second round game. I'll work that out this morning and uh, communicate that as soon as I have. But it was an outstanding effort by our team and I'm really proud of those guys and uh, we're looking forward to the second round game and we'd love to have you guys come out and support us. Our second round game should be much closer to Crandall. Um, the local sites that we're looking at are Forney and Ferris and we hope one of those work out. So it should be close enough for everybody to come out and support us and we'll keep you posted. Thank you. Lady Pirate Basketball is celebrating. Here's Coach Holmes to tell you why. We had our all district honors meeting last week and we had five girls that were um, recognized by the other coaches in the district. Second team all district went to Blaine Ballard and Kamaya Linton. First team all district went to Caitlin Benson and Alex Bowman and the unanimous defensive player of the year in our district went to Sammy Rodriguez. Thank you very much. Hey, this is Coach Goggin with the track results uh, from last Thursday. Went to Wiley East uh, for the second year in a row. Came back team champions. Uh, ran pretty comparable times to last year while we were there. JV finished second. Varsity girls, vars uh, JV girls finished fourth and third. Uh, it was a 6A, 5A meet that we went over there and dominated pretty much. Uh, just to give you some uh, tidbits, uh, Branson Bragg, who just walked by in the hall, has the best throw in the nation at 190 feet, four inches, uh, literally in the nation. Nobody has beat him so far this year uh, as far as distance goes. Uh, my relay's back to where it was uh, before sprint relays, uh, second and a half faster, so things are getting good. So come out and watch us. We got Crandall Pirate relays tomorrow night. Uh, we appreciate it. Thank you. It was teacher appreciation night Friday night at Pirate Stadium. Boys soccer beat Kemp 11 to nothing. The Lady Pirates beat Kemp 15 to nothing. Last night's games against Ferris were canceled due to weather. Varsity teams, however, are rescheduled for tonight. Boys soccer travels to Ferris for a 5.30 start. Lady Pirates versus Ferris at 5.30 here in Crandall. Practice tests for AP and ACT could be handy for helping you do your best on the real thing. Practice tests are available through the library. See the librarians for more information. Hey seniors, if you're planning on attending TVCC and living on campus in Athens after graduating at CHS, please come by to see your counselor ASAP. There is a great scholarship opportunity of which you can take advantage. Hey juniors or seniors, if you're interested in becoming a pharmacy technician, come by the counseling office ASAP. TVCC has a great one-year program where you can earn a level two pharmacy tech certificate. Come see your counselor for more details. The Crandall High School prom is set for Saturday, March 24th at the Hella Shrine Temple in Rowlett Road in Garland. Tickets go on sale on Monday, March 5th through the 21st. Seniors are $60, juniors $70, underclassmen and out-of-district guests are $80. Look for the posters around the campus for more information. Life Skills is still accepting prom dresses and accessories. Miss White has more info. What we would like to do is get donations of dresses so that girls can spend more money on hair, nails, makeup, um, girls that may not uh, want to spend four or five hundred dollars on a dress can come down and choose a dress if we can get the donations in. Um, what we'll do is we will probably have some sort of deposit um, that they'll get back when they return the dresses to us. But what we really need right now is we need donations. So if anybody could help us out and donate a prom dress that they've had from pra past proms, homecoming dances, um, anything that we can use that the girls could come down and look at. 
CHS Criminal Justice is having a Spring Fling Cellathon set for Saturday, March 3rd at the CHS parking lot. For as little as $15, you can have a garage sale space that doesn't involve a bunch of strangers coming to your house. Call James DePooch, Criminal Justice Teacher at Crandall High School for details. 214-862-0974. And just so you know, Pirate Radio is up to its old tricks again. A big variety of great music every hour. CHSPirateRadio.com. Soon we'll be getting our new Pirate Radio slash Pirate TV t-shirts. Be listening for information about how you can go get one for free. That's all we have today. Any teachers, coaches, and sponsors who have announcements for us, send them. Email to Mr. Strug or use the handy announcement submission form. You know what I'm talking about. I'm Gage Dillon. And I'm Jessica. Thanks for watching the Pirate TV Midweek Update.